Hi, I'm Derek Briggs, Product Manager for Sagami Rem Sales. Today I'll explain how to adjust the timer for your broken cutoff detection on your Sagami machine. This is specifically for the M42 broken cutoff detection function. To increase the timer for the M42 broken cutoff detection, you're going to want to turn on the parameter right enable first. So I'm going to go to MDI, I'm going to press offset, it's going to bring me to the handy screen. If you don't come to the handy screen right away, let's say you're in offset when you press the hard key, you just go ahead and press it one more time and that should bring you right to the handy screen. Sometimes you will be at the part count screen, just go ahead and page up one time and that'll bring you to the handy screen. Parameter right is what we need to want to turn on. One enables it, so we do one input. We're going to get an alarm. Parameter right enable switch on. That's just basically keeping you from moving anything around in the machine while you're editing parameters and things like that. No problem if the alarm is on. We're going to go ahead and move forward. I'm going to press the system hard key. And I'm going to soft key right two times until I see PMC maintenance. And then I'm going to soft key right again and I'll see timer. Now what I'm looking for is timer number 12. So we have number here and address here. Always worry about number 12. If you're talking to a REM sales or a distributor, uh, application engineer or service technician and they tell you to check timer number 12, it's always this far left column, the number column, not the address. So timer number 12. It's 200 milliseconds right now, so all of these timers are set in milliseconds. So that's gonna be uh, 0.2 seconds. So if we are getting some false alarms here and uh, some random alarms doing the M42 cutoff, um, one thing you can do is increase this timer. It's just gonna give the machine a, a little bit more time to see the difference in spindle RPM uh, before it actually makes a decision whether to alarm out or not. So in MDI, you can change this. If you change it to 500, which would be half a second, it's going to default to 496. Not a big deal. It's uh, you know just just the default on the fan and control. When you say 500, it's going to go to 496. If you wanted to make it one second, you can make it 1,000. Uh, that's going to give you one second of time. Um, so first thing I do is I'll change it to 500. Let it go to 496. Try to run it there. If it still is giving you some false alarms, you can increase that just a little bit higher, anything more than one second, and we should probably dive a little bit further into uh, mechanical issues or something like that with the machine. When we're done changing it to the required time that we want, which is this is about half a second, we need to turn parameter right enable back off. So we're gonna press the offset key again. It's gonna bring us to our handy screen. We need to change that to a zero input, and then we can reset this alarm. You'll see the alarm light go away and we're all set. That's how you change the timer for your M42 broken cutoff detection.